Yeah, are you my hair and makeup? Are you our hair and makeup? It's totally yeah, forced perspective. You look like a little teeny <sighs> hobbit. Wait, I can and sit I'm on Gandalf. That, you don't have to sit that, on pillows. Yeah, are you worried about being? You're not sure that no. I thought I was singing. Yeah. Just need to this lean. Exfoliation here. Mm -hmm. See, I'm doing it the same. This is how we do our hair. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is how famous we are. Thank you, sir. It's because I have a million pillows pushing me forward. <sighs> and that seat has no I stuffing left. I can find left. some. Thank you, thank if you. If our couch wasn't 20 years old. Well, yeah, and if all the ants didn't come over all the time and sit on it. You know how heavy <laughs> ants are, man. Quick beams, but I don't mean clip. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's ringing the house. <sighs> Who calls thank houses very anymore? Much. <sighs> I do have a microphone in my field of view of the TV. Oh. It's, it's okay. Do you want to switch spots? Mm. Let's switch oh, spots. Because I've point. already seen it. Wait. <laughs> okay, wait. Is that okay? Or should yeah, you can be closer? This can be BTS. Okay, are we ready? I don't, I guess so. Okay, so. We have to remember to look at only this. Only seen the tri teaser I have. She's only seen the teaser. Yes. The original. Hold it out for a um, TV viewing of I the. Yes, we attempted to watch the second, I believe it's the second teaser trailer while we were yes. camping, but couldn't really see much of anything. We're sat by the campfire. Yeah, very hard to see. A lot um, of action going on. Things were moving on our phone, but just never, you know, after we got back from camping, I went down to Comic Con and I already got treated to this trailer. In fact, technically, like before the general public. And that's true. Um, and so I've already seen it. But for old time's sake, Feely yes. has not seen it. So we wanted to um, film our reaction. Yeah, you know. <laughs> no, I don't expect a desolation of Smaug, you know, but that's okay. That's still, it's still exciting. Say, so I'm not sure if you wanted to see our reaction to the original. Definitely yes, <laughs> not, I wanted to see mine. <laughs> um, it was, it, <laughs> There's a lot of F-bombs in a not desolation of Smaug trailer. No, right? in a, yeah, so and that's all, you know, it's okay. We'll just go into this and <clears throat> but see where we end up. Yep. Okay. So. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. I'm uh, trying to cast it from my phone okay. onto the screen. Okay. Let me put it on Do Not Disturb. <clears throat> do Not Disturb. Do Not Disturb. No, go away. Do Not Disturb. Okay. Go away. Go so disturb. I hope I have it backed up. I was mistaken earlier. It's actually <gasps> like three minutes. So. Actually, it's three minutes and two seconds. <sighs> okay. Are you ready? I guess so. <laughs> now this is getting. No, no, now the pressure's on. All right, ready? wait, one more sip of lemonade. Okay, yeah. I, I need more. Go. Strawberry lemonade, man. Mm -hmm. And raspberries, about. Mm. All right. <sighs> okay. Ready? <clears throat> yes. Set. Here we go. Okay, okay. Oh wait, actually, one thing you need to know yes. about the second age, just as a reminder, is that this is right after they've defeated Morgoth. Okay. So just to orient yourself of where in the timeline of Middle Earth this okay. is. And, okay. And so we know stuff that the characters don't know. Yeah, obviously. exactly. You know a lot. Yeah. So they're okay. in this place where they think we've just basically f destroyed. It's yeah. like after, between World War One and World War Two or something. Yeah. Like, you yeah. know, there's the Roaring Twenties and everyone's like, woo, we're having good times. Yeah. That's how I look at it. Oh, boy. Okay. okay let's see if this actually works. <sighs> okay, okay. Wait, now I have to do one more sip again. One more sip. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> Should I push play? Yes. Just as the screen went dark. <gasps> no! We thought the war that lost was ended. Fire, it looks like a fire. Today, our days of peace begin. Nice hair, not. Sorry. We thought Ooh. our joys would be unending. We thought our light would never dim. The skies are strange. Let us hear Gratria, the moment we feared. Oh my god, you're right! Whoa. 
okay, that's cool. between Hammer and Rock. Hammer oh, Rock. They're showing yeah, them. One or the other. I must show the break. You have been told many lies of many worlds. Okay, yeah, that is awesome. That was so. Oh, shush up. That was so unexpected. Yeah. Balrog at the cool. end. That's super cool. Oh my gosh. Huh. Okay. More intrigued. Still see, extremely I'm uncertain and don't like a lot, but I, I see more that I liked than before, and there's definitely, you know, a lot of good stuff there. My theory and is, is you know, if you've noticed, I know you're upset about the elves and the hair, I'm pretty sure that has to be part of the story. Because there's a lot of elves who do have long hair, and then there's elves that don't, and given that this is right after the defeat of Morgoth, yeah. the most humiliating thing you could probably do with an elf is shorn shorn their hair. I just feel like, like they shouldn't have chosen to show that because then you're like showing something that looks very then, not canon immediately. But then I think you... you'd have to leak a big part of it. This is just my theory. Yeah. I don't have insider information yeah. or anything, but given that a elves grow so slowly that yeah. if you cut their hair, it could take thousands That's of true. years for it to come back. And it could be those are like the survivors of true something. I don't know. That's just true. my theory. True. Maybe play it one more time. Yeah, I was gonna say. Do it one more time. I'm, I'm way more excited. I'm like, I'm like super excited to see it. And I was ambivalent up until I saw that trailer. Great, it's just gonna keep playing cookie ads. So I'm guessing that's like Baby Isildur or something, because he kind of looks like the actor. He does a little. And then now I'm just under pressure because I'm being filmed. Well, okay, yeah, here it it's is. very stressful. Oh, <gasps> the here bears! Sorry, YouTube popped up. There's this really cool camera. We thought the war okay. at last was ended. Today. Today. I think that's just so Our days of peace. You're ugly. Begin. <laughs> Whoa, we that's super our cool. Our joys would be unending. We thought our light would never dim. The skies are strange. I'm so excited to see a Rondir. Yeah. I just see a Gladria. The moment we see it. Shall be. 
You think it's over, and you're yeah, like, oh, okay, whatever. That's and super then cute. the cookies, go away, yeah. cookies. Oh my god, for real, go away. Yeah, totally. And no, then you think it's over, cool. and then all of a sudden the Balrog comes. Yeah, that's amazing. That must have been super cool to see with oh. a bunch of people. That's awesome. Oh yeah, everyone was screaming. That's so cool. Jumping up and punching <gasps> the air. Yeah, like, I know. Hell yeah. I wish they filmed it. I know they should have, even if it was just audio. When I was treated to the trailer it was with a group of other big lord of the rings fans at comic con so awesome. and um like the room was like a room full of hobbitception i actually shed tears because of just being around so so much unbridled enthusiasm and joy dude totally and, like yeah. a lot of those people know the lore way better than i do so they're yeah. like going, oh my god and that, that, and and that. That. yeah it's totally that. totally and, like, yeah, that's amazing. I know. It's super cool. I'm really excited to see it now. Yeah. I feel like it's in like totally good hands and um, I'm just hoping, like to me that feels like Middle Earth. Yeah, it's different, but I finally get the sense of gravity and like layered texture and history that the other, at least I can't really speak to the second one, but the first yeah. one just felt like yeah, nothing. Yeah, I totally, mean, totally, like, yeah. CGI. Yeah. Like, look, we have all this money. Yeah, I know. We can do all these special effects. all this and stuff. And I know. It's not the best. I think it looks cool, too. And plus, this one focused much more on elves and men. Yeah, that's true. And, like, yeah. showing, like, places we're gonna go. Like, yeah, and that's Nahara super cool. And, like, yeah, that'll be awesome to see that. I know. Yeah. Parts of Middle-earth we've never gotten to see before. Yeah, totally. I don't know if there's gonna be another one. Yeah, I don't really I feel mean, like so they need. Soon. I don't feel like they really need to do another one yeah, after that, especially because it's coming out so soon. I know. I'm excited for it. You're still on the fence, I think. Yeah, I'm definitely, you know, more excited for sure and intrigued than the first first trailer for sure. Mm -hmm. But still, um, whatever the word is, very apprehensive. But you know, I'm mm -hmm. gonna give it, you know, very fair shot. And there's a lot of really cool stuff, amazing stuff, and characters and things we're gonna see. And you know, Balrog, a lot of really cool. There's a lot of cool stuff in that trailer. I mean, you know, so some of this Hobbit PTSD because we were like so stoked for the Battle of the Five Armies, and then we saw it and it was kind of <laughs> yeah, <disappointment>. really. Like, <laughs> seriously, <laughs> I know. Mm -hmm. But you know, give it a shot, and uh, yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be cool. And, um, yeah, really excited to see the Balrog stuff and, and How the How it fits in with the story. Yeah, and, yeah, that's super like, cool. I am I'm so excited to see the story of how Sauron, like, not corrupted necessarily, but how he seduced them all to take a ring. Yeah, I just don't know why he has a buzz cut. I don't even know if that is Sauron. Okay. That's just my idea. Okay. But not everyone has to have long hair. No, but you can at least have like cool hair or like stop. I, I don't know. It's maybe he just like got reborn in that body and it had been maybe bald, if there wasn't like growing. 500 people with short modern hair, it wouldn't be so shocking. Hi, my name is Feely. I am here to initiate, announce, have what's the word? Apologize. Yes, but when you. It was a smart person word I was gonna say before that. <clears throat> it'll be, but I, it'll be I'm, I'm pretty sure that's him saying the narration of okay. "We've been told many lies." Of yeah, the Earth. that would make sense. Because like that would be like I'd love to hear the rest of what totally, he's saying because totally. I totally want to hear what his point of oh, view is. Oh yeah. What? Hi, I'm Feely Hobbit, <laughs> and 
I am here to issue an official apology. Have you seen that video of what's it, Sauron, Lord of the Rings from Sauron's point of view? Someone, no. someone watching this probably made it. But it's, it's really good, because it's true. I mean, you know, yeah, Sauron, you know. I want to see it from his point yeah. of view, but that's why like, I'm excited to see yeah, this. Yeah, totally. Is... Oh yeah, that's going to be awesome to see that, for mm -hmm. sure. I feel like that's the most exciting part to me too, is that. And... For calling someone in the trailer ugly. For, that is not truly what I meant in my heart. There's no one ugly in this trailer. All the young, work stuff. young Galadriel before she was like this more calm, wise, reserved, like Yeah. But she's got I don't know, I have a feeling we're gonna see some weird no, maybe not weird stuff, but if you look at the Galadriel we see in the movies, she's got this eerie like quality. Oh yeah, that she's, like, she definitely has like a borderline and in the books too, you know, like could power trip you, could oh, yeah. fuck you up, like, <laughs> you know, that's why I think, I feel like that's why everyone in Middle Earth who after they go to Lothlorien is like, you were there, and like, you made it and out you alive, survived. you're insane. But I mean, she, but then you go and she's like, all knives. It was simply a very jarring cosmetic alteration that we have not seen before. That's what I will say, I suppose. And, um, did not mean you're ugly. <laughs> but there's that moment where she's like, if I Oh, totally. And yeah. That totally. comes from somewhere. So that's, yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm not expecting to see an evil Galadriel. No, but if we just get to see her, you know, form into how she became so powerful and wise and, and much, careful. much more emotional. Yeah, emotional. And like, obviously she has reasons for being all guarded and all these things. And, you know, I mean, look at this. They went through gnarly and crap. I don't know you if know? you picked that up, but that was Kaz Doom. Okay. The elves through, and there's waterfalls and greenery. At least I'm... Yeah. I'm almost certain okay. that's cause of doom. And um, it's just the shock it was just very shocking. Very shocking. And you know, I say a lot of weird things that mean other things, really. <laughs> so there we have it, folks. You can come so to my- So what you're saying is the haircut is ugly. I mean, there was a lot yes. of talk of hair after we watched it. Yes, that. yes, the haircut was very jarring. Okay. Um, so we're gonna see so much more dwarf stuff. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm super excited to see more of stuff but yeah in the world Which, we haven't seen on screen before and like it's nothing against the hobbit trilogy on the whole it's just it was the storytelling fell kind of flat in the battle of the five armies it still looked beautiful it still you know was all yeah. all of that but yeah. also i felt like the ball really got dropped on the dwarves for whatever reason like yeah, we, we were hoping for based on fellowship of the ring like Dwarven chants when yeah, they're on screen totally, and stuff like that. And, totally. And we didn't get it, and it almost yeah. felt like they phoned in their culture. They're like, well, which I know they didn't, but yeah. I think they were so pressed for time, whereas I'm hoping that... God, yeah, I know. <sighs> Very startling, and yes. <sighs> I will be having a... What's a, what's a politician thing? Gala a dinner thing? All the elves can come. So, yeah, and the, the music's show. super good. That's yeah. awesome. And the orcs look amazing. I know, the orcs look incredible. Feed them. And you, and you really apologize. To show that she's so apologized. I'm gonna cut my hair tonight. That like, buzzing the it. elves can come even if they're bald. Exactly. And that's fine. That's if how that's, open-minded that's, we are. Exactly. And that's just, that's just okay. Because they're all... bald elves deserve representation too. They do. You know, do they go bald? Elrond's creeping in there in the movies, so... Yeah. She was the one who was telling me at the lunch how all, cause I, you know, we were talking about Did like- Did you tell them what you got to eat? I don't remember. So imagine being that one elf who's got alopecia, I mean. I mean, yeah, that would be definitely a bit awk in that community. But you know, it's all right. Little, it was like carrots, little teeny carrots. Wait, with... and then I thought some little man brought a tray with caviar. Oh yeah, that was at the party. Fancy. I tried caviar for the little first time. Little sneagle eggs. And I'm like, I don't think I want it, but when else in my life oh, am I yeah, going to try Oh yeah, I mean, caviar? you gotta try it. But it was fine. It just kind of, I asked the server, I said, what does it taste like? <laughs> does it taste like fish, like super fishy? And she's like, no, it's high grade caviar. So it's just, it tastes like salty. And I'm like, oh, fancy. Yeah, fancy. So it's like on like a fancy crouton. I just ate Yeah, it. I mean, if it's on a fancy crouton. <laughs> but everyone is beautiful. So thank you. This is Philia. Happy But wait, you were saying Oh yeah, we were real. talking about like, <laughs> roles for women in general, especially yeah. in fantasy, and like how personally for me, Toriel ended up being a disappointment because oh, she had no sure. agency. Like, like sure she was there. Yeah, I know. I feel like Katniss was a bit of a diff disappointment yeah, too. Yeah, like, do, 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 do. but I'm like, at the end, you didn't make any decisions, or if we took you out of the story, 
Katniss, not really, but yeah, or, yeah, you know, if you took her out of the story, it yeah. doesn't change the story, so why are you there? Yeah, totally. And just, like, inserting a woman isn't enough to be like, now we have well, yeah, just, representation. Like, plugging, plugging if in that a... character ultimately is, like, ineffective. Yeah, then, totally. Who no, cares? They seem forced or whatever. So we were talking, I mean, like, we got deep. We had lunch with the cast, and we got deep really quick. And there are a lot of women on the cast, and um, that actress in particular, who I'm totally blanking on her name. So she said her character does have some kind of love story in the show, okay. but that if you took that away, she still has every <gasps> right to be. Oh, I was right. I know, I know. So Ooh, she said, in fact, I ship that. From her point of view, <laughs> all the female characters are like they're not just there as token. Yeah, and love story is fine. You just people. have to have more. You know, yeah, it's fine if you and have like, that. You'd want to be it to be a character of substance who is affecting the plot, not just totally. But I want to kiss you, or totally. Whatever. Yeah, so, totally. And she said, "Oh no!" She goes, "All the women in this show have agents." That's awesome. And so I'm like, "Oh, I'm even more psyched now." Yeah, no, that I'm super stoked. Yeah, yeah, I mean, totally. Tolkien didn't write many women, but when he did, oh, they're they were amazing. Like, like they're so rich. Like, I know. Every Goldberry, Galadriel, Smeagol's mom, even. <laughs> Smeagol's yeah, mom? Yeah, I, I don't remember about Smeagol's yeah, mom. She's like this like rich like gangster, and she's got like 20 hobbit what? holes, and what? Like, Smeagol stole from her. She, she was beating people up, is that why he turned out the way she did? No, I'm pretty sure they started beating him up when he came back, because he was like stealing from them, or something. I can't remember now. All I remember is when I reread that part recently, I was like, damn, Smeagol's mom's like this like gangster. He like, came back, and he looked all my and then she was like, you ain't no son of mine. Yeah! <laughs> Although, I'm pretty sure he was doing like really creepy things I forget now. Like like literally like hiding in like logs in people's yards and like eating their babies and then like going to dinner oh with God. them. I don't know, like really weird crap. But yeah, he does eat babies and it's so scary. Oh my God! Before he went to the Lonely Mountain. Hobbit babies? Probably, probably all flavors. Whatever you guys oh hands. Oh my God! <laughs> Yeah, it's scary. But yeah, Smeagol's so mom, she's one of them. He used to do, like, the, Baby the story Smeagol. according to Smeagol. Dude, that would be awesome. Like, Gollum's point of view, if they did Sam's yeah. point of view. Yeah, Dude, I'm hoping, too, you know, if they're actually having female characters. Female orcs, I mean, they've got to come from somewhere. I mean, maybe they've got cloacas, I, I but... Feely Happy Hobbit. Hobbit. Feely Hobbit. <laughs> Signing off since the second... <laughs> Because <laughs> I actually don't want spoilers. I know. I'm like, stop. Yeah, like, I feel like that's super exciting. I don't want to hear this. The orc stuff's super cool, and like, um, yeah, the new elf character, female character. But yeah, Gladriel, I mean, I know. Obviously, there's so much you could do with her. I know. And her backstory, and her as a character, and um, yeah, and then, um, wait, I thought it was something else about Smingle's Mall. No, <laughs> Oh yeah, but then yeah, once he does write female characters, they're like awesome. And you know, so much of that was just like the time period and uh -huh. all that, like whatever. At least, I mean, the, yeah. But um, dude, I really hope <sighs> season two, maybe season one, I'm doubtful, but Bombadil and Goldberry, I mean, Can they we were there. Just see yellow boots, like, dude, I know. Well, there's just like so much cool stuff you could do. If and, yeah. <sighs> If they can't fit it into the plot or don't have the rights or something, can't you still just have like, a group of yellow boots running yes. through the and, like the rest you of the You just hear like know. singing in a blue coat and yeah. you're like, whoa, there it goes. Bigfoot's got gold. Well, that actually would be really cool if there was just like a forest scene and they were like relatively close to the old forest or something. Mm -hmm. And then you just like get a glimpse of Goldberry down by the river or something. Yeah. But... I mean, if they are trying to, you know, get more representation, of, you know, gender and stuff, I mean, that'd be some hard to pass up. I know. Gold and it'd be good for the story. I mean, Bombadil's been around since almost as long as Ends. Like, <laughs> yeah. Or longer? I can't remember. Who's um, and in one of the promos that I didn't see but saw pictures of, I don't know if you saw, they have confirmed there are Ends. Okay, I have not seen that, but that's insane. Yeah, and End Teens. And End Wives? I'm assuming if there's end teens, dude, that would be tweens. so rad. That would be really, really, really cool. Because I keep thinking about that rereading Lauder. Like I wish there was a chance to have way more end stuff that mm -hmm. there is in the book. 
in the movies, so that would be amazing I know, to see. that's what I'm super excited about too, is the opportunity to see things and go yeah, places totally. that are beyond the borders or the scope maybe of like The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. Totally, totally, and like, yeah, just getting to see stuff that maybe was just touched on in other screens of Middle Earth, whatever you call it. I mean, we're gonna see Aragorn's but, ancestors. Yeah, that's awesome. Super freaking cool, and mm -hmm. um, yeah, man. Excited to see the stuff that, yeah, I just haven't seen a whole lot of detail yet on screen. I mean, of course, in our minds, but you know, yeah. it's great to see in real life and, of course, expanding on what's there, I'm sure. Uh huh. You know, but. I'm really excited yeah. to see Iran do it just from what I've seen of oh, his totally. clips, like in this stuff. They've yeah. Kind of, he wasn't as featured in this one, I feel like a little bit maybe more in the other yeah. one. Yeah. No, he seems but. super cool. He, he, I feel like out of anyone in the trailer, he. I don't know. You just he kind of leaps off the screen. Oh to yeah, pull you, in. you feel his like electricity and his yeah. like as Tommy was out. Let's say um, <laughs> his his energy, his like vibe, man. I don't know. You just yeah, really get pulled in. I like he him has a lot. gravity, and I had the pleasure of sitting next to him at this like fan lunch thing that they organized. With more and, like, eggs. And he had. I don't think we had eggs. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean fish more eggs? eggs? No. I think no. That's where I had the fancy carrot that just looked like an immature carrot Wait, I pulled out of my that. garden. Great, grab that. That's part of it. Oh yeah. And Prop. I was like, wait. So my like half-made carrots are. Oh, we're running out of batteries. Oh, hurry! Tell are, your story. Are actually just like fancy. This was a napkin from it. It's very exciting. Yeah. Wait, before it dies. Anyway, hurry. so I was story, sitting story. next to Ismael Cruz Cordova, Whoa. and he has like this intense gravity to him. Not unfriendly at all, but yeah. he's just one of those people who has that power you of just presence. Feel it. Yeah. It draws you in. That's huge. Yeah. That's and huge. I think that does translate well on screen. Oh, it sure I know does. It doesn't always. No, for you, actors and actresses. No, yeah, you totally feel that. That's super awesome. Anyway, thank but you. Yeah, thank you yeah. for watching. Yes. Our battery's about to die. Yes, thank you. And sorry, I'm half braindead. And, you know, we are very excited to see what is to come. Yep. And thank you for subscribing to Happy Hobbit and following us. Some of you have been here for probably like. The second this, age. This is our <laughs> this is our decade long thing. We started in 2012, and we're at a hundredth episode. Whoa, that's true. Oh my God, Perfect. We're so old. <laughs> we are oh. not as old as Elrond, at least. No, <laughs> we're not there yet. But. Yeah, you know, it's got still got the looks though. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyways, farewell. Farewell, Namarie. Yes. Toodaloo. Toodaloo. Yeah. Photos be closer. Um, I guess so. How did we film it last time? Oh yeah, we stuck my camera in my bookcase. Yeah, we're I think watching it was on our laptop. Yeah, I think it was, it was like ten years ago. Yeah, yeah, I think it was there.